It's time for the Three Blind Mice Invitational. Lee, George, and Paul this month are inviting everyone to build the Hot Wheels X-Men 64 Nova Station Wagon. I was kind of excited when I saw that this was the casting for this month because, for once, I kind of knew what I was going to do with this one. Um, I know what I would want this car to look like if I had it. And uh, as a little hint to where we're going, even though I don't surf, that's the direction we're going. Uh, I am from California, after all. Born and raised in California, so I, I come by it honestly. So we go through the usual process of, you know, drawing it, tapping it. You've seen it before. Uh, this time, I'm not chopping it up. I'm not sticking two cars together. I didn't even use any JB Weld on this build. Uh, shocking as that may be. Uh, it comes apart reasonably eas easily. Uh, it's a great little casting metal base. You know, real riders that come off of there, I, I end up swapping the wheels, as you're going to see. But, uh, yeah, it's fairly straightforward. And the glass even came out easily on this one. I, I didn't have problems like I did on the last one, where I shot it halfway across the room as I was doing it. Yeah, so I sanded off, ca or filed off casting lines, you know, went over it with a scr scotch, ah, can't even talk, scotch bright pad. Um... Got it nice and shiny, ready for paint. Um, I really like the way it looked just without paint, but couldn't leave that. So I used the Army Painter Primer, the matte white. I'm really liking this stuff. It uh, it works really well. And yep, that's a Lime Ice Tester's Extreme Lacquer again. And this time I picked up the clear that goes with it. And yeah, I hit it with the Lime Ice. I love that paint. I love the color. If I had this wagon, that is the color I would want it to be. So I masked it off. There's actually Tamiya masking tape around the edges for nice crisp edges. The blue painter's tape is just to cover the rest of the car. It's barely on there. The Tamiya tape is really what gives you the good lines, and I can't recommend that enough. And yep, I put a white top on it. Just a rattle can. I can't even remember what paint that was. Just a I don't know if it was a Krylon or you know, something like that, Rust-Oleum maybe. But uh, put the white top on the lime ice. I'm, I'm not doing anything too extreme with this one. I, I just really like the looks of it the way it is and kind of know what I want. Use the Tamiya Clear Red for the taillights. I had already put down some silver for the, uh, you know, under that, under the uh, taillight housing or whatever you want to call it. And then put the, the red clear on top of that. The red clear works out really well. It's, it's nice. And I, you'll see me using um, toothpicks a lot to do some of the finer stuff. Yeah, I'm actually trying to put details on here. Um, I did get rid of those wheels. Wheels are nice. Yeah, there's nothing really wrong with them. But I knew the wheels I'd want if it was my car. And those of you who know me know they're going to be shiny. Um, yep, that's where I took them from. Uh, Disney uh, VW. I like the real writers that were on there. Didn't have any flat black to paint the base. I, I had a few shots left on that can of Duplicolor Black Pearl. So I shot the base with that and then went over it with the matte clear enamel from Rust-Oleum. Because I wanted it to be matte, a matte finish, you know, I didn't want it shiny. I didn't use chrome on it. I masked off the front and back bumper areas and just left them metal. Uh, and then made the rest of it, you know, black, flat black, and started painting details. Oh, and for, before I forget, like I usually do, uh, if you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribing, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Boggles my mind sometimes that uh, people are subscribing to watch me build these little things. So uh, using the paint pens, I put in the headlights just, you know, with white paint. Took my time. I liked leaving the front and back bare metal because it wasn't 
too shiny. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the chrome's a little too chrome, <laughs> and uh, I'm already throwing those chrome wheels on here. I, I think the uh, effect was pretty good. So there you see the wheels, and you know I've got them in there. I super glued them in, and you can kind of see how the bumpers turned out too. Uh, how I masked them off and left them the bare metal. There's the front. I did go over the grill area with null oil, Citadel null oil, just to make it uh, stand out a little bit better. I actually did some detail on the bottom of the car. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I highlighted what what I knows under there <laughs> with the uh, silver pin. And then I hit flat black with a few squirts I had left in uh, the black spray can. And then went over it with the mat, just like I did on the base. Did a little detail on the inside there, too. Nothing too fancy, but a little detail. Kind of made me think of my 65 Chevy I had years ago. Now, I'm cutting that windshield portion in half and getting rid of the back half. It's kind of rough. The, the front windshield had... Uh, some little pock marks in it, so got the foots polish and uh, went over it with that and rubbed it in there a little bit with my finger and then I go over it with a microfiber cloth. So I was able to polish it up pretty well. If you look in the top corner, you see a K7 sitting up there, in the top right corner. Yep, that's the uh, Ghostbusters K7 I'm working on. That'll, that'll hopefully get finished someday before the end of uh, next year or well, this year, 2020. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I polished the windshield up a little bit. Uh, then I cleaned it off after that. Uh, you know, washed it just to make sure there wasn't any polish left on it. And I took it to the tried and true gauzy. That always makes it look good. It's nice because this windshield actually had something I could grab onto. Some of the others just, they're so tough to grab onto because... It's all windshield, and you obviously don't want to grab it in some area that uh, you want the gauzy to have a good coat on. This one had that big portion still left, so it worked out great. I was able to dip it, you know, drain off uh, just very easily off the corners, the excess. And then once that was done, I put it under that crayon box cover there on the left just to, until it dried, make sure no dust got on it. Whoa, I hit you with the uh, yellow microfiber cloth here. Yes, those are surfboards you see over there. Like I said, I'm a California boy. Gotta have those surfboards, right? Never surfed in my life, but I would have surfboards in this thing if it were mine. Of course, they probably wouldn't be orange and yellow. I'd probably, uh, <laughs> probably do them up fancy. At least they'd be wood grain. I'm not quite sure. I did hit the, the uh, inside of the roof with a little super glue to keep that windshield in place, just a little more secure. Didn't want to put too much up there. Yeah, fortunately, I left a long tongue on that windshield, so I was able to keep the super glue away from the, the visible portions of the glass. Just kind of tack that in there. I just want to say thanks to the three blind mice, Lee, George, and Paul, for uh, holding these events. They're a lot of fun. And I. I love these belts, uh, and uh, it, it lets me try and do something a little different where, you know, I'm not thinking of the car, they think of the car, and then I figure out what to do with it, just like everybody else. It's fun to see what other people do with the same casting all at the same time. And obviously, we all go wildly different directions. You know, I went gas lands on the first one I did, so... I haven't gone gaslands on any of these builds since, but I can't say the next one won't be. Even though I actually know what I'm doing with the next one. <laughs> but uh, here I am screwing the base in. And uh, I ended up, because I, I like having the screws in there when I paint it. So they ended up being lime ice green, which kind of stood out against the black base so I just touched those up with the little Citadel black paint. I love the Citadel paints. And 
and uh, once that's done, I'll flip this thing over and get it rolling. But there you kind of see the result. That's what I was after. And nothing uh, too outrageous. Pretty clean, pretty straightforward. But I wouldn't mind driving to the beach too. Beach is about 20 miles away. Throw those surfboards in the back. And I literally threw these surfboards in the back. I, uh, <laughs> as you'll see in, in the final shot here, they aren't the straightest things, but they're loose back there. And uh, that thing rolls and I'd be rolling to the beach. Here's where we started out. And you're gonna see uh, how it wrapped up here in a second. We have a really nice beach nearby that uh, a lot of people go to. It's just beautiful out there. When the kids come out, we love going there. So there's, uh, there's my build. Like I said, those surfboards are just kind of thrown in there. But uh, that's what I'd like to be rolling around in. And if I had that thing right now, I'd be able to throw a bunch of stuff so I could work on the, the workshop at the house. <laughs> carry sheets of uh, MDF in the back of that thing with no problem. Kind of tough in the car right now. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much to the Three Blind Mice. I'll be putting links to their, uh, their pages down below. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Those subscribers who already subscribe, <laughs> thank you very much. See you in the next one.